Welcome everybody to the stream. It is Wednesday night time for the normal in the death showcase stream because we've done seven of them for the next fest. So these are going to be a collection of game demos as well as titles submitted by developers. If you'd like me to go to your game for a future stream and video, please get in touch. I have no idea what's going on with the YouTube chat that like zooms it out. Hmm. Oh yeah, let me buy all the games on my wish list and we'll play them all in one night. <laughs> Alright, everything looks good here. Let's see. Where should we start? We have Oaken. That's been on my list for a while. Let's see. It's on itch. Alright, let's go with Video Game Fables, as this is one that I interview the developer for. And I think that should be going up in a few weeks for the round table. Hello, uh, Shamu. Alright, let's see what we have here. Should be loading up on stream in the next five seconds. <laughs> Alright, so this is another kind of break on traditional RPG games. And this was made in Unity, if I remember right. Now the first challenge, how do we uh, start? There we go. That reminds me of that, uh, was it 8-Bit Hero game? The uh, PlayStation one that was kind of another, like, break off of traditional RPGs. Ooh. Is this the uh, RPG equivalent of Reboot? They're breaking the game. <laughs> oh no. Hey, Eric. I did a, a library talk earlier tonight, which is nice. <laughs> How's everything with you? That's some flat lava right there. Uh -uh. Hmm. 
Mm-mm. Or <laughs> <laughs> we get team up with the chair. I remember from when I talked with the developer, they did something a little bit differently with the combat. Everyone is very one-dimensional so far, right? Driving the uh, carriage out in the uh, rains. <laughs> I do wish, like, for a while, the indie developers are working on like RPG style games that they kind of get us move things along just a little bit faster at the start. Ooh. Is that thing? Oh, oh, playing there. You Any kind of action commands? Nice one sword. Probability. So the crits are stored. the same uh, armor here. Hmm. 
Alright, so when does the end of the world happen here? I mean, what gulpins do you think I'll have to collect? I believe there are either jobs in this one, or a job system, or we'll do kind of mix and match abilities. It's in our alarm clock. <laughs> oh, good. Oh. oh, we can't swim. <laughs> Do we have a menu? Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. The gold turns into the items. That's a neo lore twist. Shields do different stats. Stats. This seems like the most uh, utility of them. We have a hundred gold. Hmm. Like this. How do I equip? The party menu is not working. <laughs> it's not as good as that bed from 24 Killers when you uppercut. to equip anything. Unless one of these guys gives me the menu. Uh-oh. Nice, oh, got fast travel.
All right, well, that's a nice little feature. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh no, it's turning to Minecraft. <laughs> Hope they spell the uh, reaches wrong. Alright then, what's this? I believe we get food buffs. There we go. <laughs> Got a little worried that my controller wasn't working. <laughs> All right, so HP is pooled or XP. Yeah, so this is one of the things I. Experience is used to equip gear and skills as well as level up. Hmm. All right. So definitely some interesting twists on the formula. I just wish that intro was just a little bit speedier. Okay. Mm. Alright, so that costs 10. This. Oh. Ah, there we go. We don't need an extra slot here. Then oh. yourself, okay. Okay, credit some more damage. Maybe can perform one turn sooner. Hmm. A crit to a crit. And, okay, so since this guy is the only one with a magical weapon... I guess a wand for you? It's... Fire. All right, I'll give you an axe. We're gonna run out of space very quickly, aren't we? Oh. Uh, get one more shield. Easily, they'll be very important at some point. We just don't have the money for them. Hmm? 
Uh oh. Oh, I wonder why. Oh. Uh. Is that it? Okay. Well, there's all of our gear. Alright, the real game can begin now. Right. Oh. Hmm. Oh, good. There we go. Okay, so it just raises all base stats. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> The onboarding is, I think, just a little too slow here. You find all my battles. All right, thank you, game. Oh. No jumping. Oh no! Mm. Oh, there's my crit. Those are a lot of, like, cutesy games these days. <laughs> Boom. Boom. A crit crit. Faith is considered cute? <laughs> Wait, do we get our health back? No, we don't. Although, as I've said, I'm not a huge fan of random encounters. I think the open world's a nice look to it. You'll never get me. That blade of grass with a glove. This should kill him. Hmm. Uh, oh. Oh. 
Hey. Is crit, yeah. That should just kill him right then and there. Oh, uh oh. Well, the nice was the edgy uh, age, right? I can just warp back, right? That's nice. I like the instant teleport. Uh, if I remember from the interview, the developer said this is going to be on the shorter side. I think there's like 8 to 10 hours? Or somewhere around there. And we can't afford anything. Boing, boing. Everybody jump. I don't know why his uh, thing is like lit up. I'm guessing it's all the way over there. Oh. See a teleport. I think the map design is really nice. It's not highly detailed, but it has like a nice kind of like retro look to it. Scans. Burn him. I'm not poison. All right, so this should be. What do you guys think about the combat in this one so far? Hmm. Yeah. I think the problem for me is I've played just so many, like, these style of games. That unless the combat system has, like, something interesting to it, like the, uh... Shimagami Tensai, that kind of thing. It just comes a little harder to hold my interest over like a longer period of time. I may have wasted the uh, fireball. I think I can run. Yeah, you can run, but it costs you.
Hmm. Come over here and rest. I do like the streamlining of the formula. But, like I said, like, even with, like, these changes, it still plays very much like a traditional RPG. Here we go again. We have not gotten anything for skills yet. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think uh, when we get to the castle, we'll wrap things up, and we'll move on to the next game. So, I don't know if this will be one that people want to see more of on the stream or not. When there's anything hidden behind the uh, model of the castle there. I swear there is a delay with my input there. <laughs> Oh no. Why are there five locks? I think that's always like the issue when like developers really lean into a genre's trope. Even when they're trying to make fun of it, it still feels very much like that genre. Right, how much is gonna hurt me? That's not too bad. Wait, I can heal, right? Alright, so that should murder you. Oh. Hey, Star. Surprised hmm. we can get a crit there. And we just murdered all of them. Alright. I would think that if you're not, like, tired of RPG conventions, this could be a fun game. But I think for this audience, we've played and seen a lot of this before. Alright. 
Could be an interesting one, maybe if we ever had some spare time to play. And go through like a bit more of it. But the story is interesting. Yeah, I know. The mythical spare time. Right. Alright, we have the Tarnishing of Juxtia. Kind of like a 2D action adventure. Rings of Saturn. Hmm, do I want to play uh, this one? Hmm, could be an interesting one. Alright. And we still have card sharks I have to play. Let's try this one. So this is a demo for the game. And the developer told me this should not represent the finished version, of course. There's us, I think. Oop. I then just went through all my bandages. Alright, so we have dodge and swing. It's going to dodge in air. Oh good, I'm fighting uh, Cthulhu again. Oh. Why well, I need those bandages? Hello. Alright, we can stun walk, but I am limited by my stamina. Oh. In a weird way, the aesthetic reminds me a little bit of Blasphemous. Maybe because it's a darker looking uh, 2D action game. Magic. Controls feel pretty responsive so far. Oh. 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 Loot. I see gear. And stats. Oh. You don't think we have like a weight system, do you? Hey look, I'm wearing a suit now. <laughs> There we go. Poke. Poke. This one seems okay. But again, I'm waiting for the twists. 
what's going to make this one stand out. Oh. Bonfire? You think this game will pull a uh, Dark Souls and uh, just throw me into a boss that's going to one-shot me? Oh, and this was made in Game Maker, according to the opening. My new rules will always go left when as uh, the first thing whenever they we start. This I'm guessing we need to come the long way. Oh. And these are bonfires. There we go. Alright, doesn't seem that difficult so far. Oopsie. Oh! oh. Oh, they're now using enemies who have super armor. Uh, if you saw there, it looks like there's a stun gauge on these enemies. Some slow swinging. Here's a question for all the uh, action game fans in the audience Is the super slow weapon ever worth it in a 2D action game? It's like, it always seems to be like the worst option. Unless you can dodge cancel out of the swing. Alright, what's different? Three, 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 three. So that gives me more SP? Oh, just gives me uh that's more of our dodge and swing. It looks like I can break their Dance at least. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Oh boy. You look like a big guy. Oh, jeez. Yeah, like right here. Oh. Hmm. Nope. 
It would be nice if I could, like, stun lock. Or, like, do, like, a follow-up when we break through their armor. Hmm. Like this weapon, it, it's just way too slow. Or should I say the great sword is too slow? That's not too bad. Oh, God. No, thank you. That message got caught by the, uh, YouTube, and not all the, uh, bot messages. Thank you, YouTube. Oof. Hmm. Where are the checkpoints? Oh dear. Oh, thank you. Oh, there's our key. say just something different to the 2D Souls-like formula. Oh, what's this? 30. Nothing is giving me more armor break. What's this? Like, it's just too slow to use the heavy weapons in this game. Oh. I like that the magic recharges. But yeah, if you look right here, you are completely locked into the animation. There is no animation or no dodge cancel. Hmm. I do wonder if we get a parry. Oh, it's gonna be annoying. Wait, can I just do... There we go. The old mid-era dodge strat. Oh, we'll say. Ooh, ooh. Eek. Hmm. And there's our shortcut. There you go. There, opened it up. Yeah, I was thinking that earlier. Oh no. Oh, jeez. Ooh. Oof. There has to be more of a pun- Sorry. Punish for stance breaking.
Like, let me do, like, more damage. Or maybe get health back from it. It can't just be get an extra hit. This game show me anything better here is the question. Incense horn? So I lose the ability to recover my magic. Don't seem to be the best trade off. Hmm. I have a feeling in this game that if there is, in fact, like a parry or repose power, it's going to be like really overpowered to use. Oh, good, you. Yep. Burr spam. Oh, I hate when they get, like, a triple like that. <laughs> you know, when they can, like, change their direction in mid-combo. Alright. We've been playing this for 16 minutes. Where's the boss? Hmm... I don't know. Now the other question I have is stance breaking based on strength? Or I'm sorry, based on the actual damage you're doing? Or is it based on the weapon itself? Oh, I feel like we're about to fight a boss. It's purple, the boss. <laughs> That's a big sword. <laughs> uh oh. You know, when the violin music starts, it's bad. Yuck. Oh god, I did so little damage. Whoa, that's a poke right there. At least they can't hit me behind with the sword. I will give the developer credit for that. Ow! Because usually sometimes when they swing the sword behind, I get hit by it. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Uh -huh. Oh. 
See, we have a bit of a problem. It's buffering when I hit the heal button. So I'm, I hit the heal button, and then if I'm still holding it, it counts for two. Ow. That's it. Punch! This is turning into my Elden Ring character. <laughs> I will punch you to death. Stop running away from my fist! <laughs> you jerk! Man, my lightning bolt needs a little bit more lightning to it. See? And this is why having a quick attack is so damn useful. Will you, will you hold still? <laughs> No, it's just too damn slow. One, two. Okay, so he's fr he's pretty free after that first hit. How the hell did I dodge that? <laughs> Oh no. Well, that's a bit of a problem. We have no iframe on hit. So, it hits me twice, I'm dead instantly. I have no way to get around it. No, oh, that's not good. Also, I don't like how this boss does not have any kind of stun lock mechanic. Like, you introduce it for the normal enemies. So it's only fair that the boss should have something similar. If he did like a 180 hit there, I would have been very annoyed. <laughs> and a turn. See, I can only safely swing one time. Because anything more, he's just going to counter me. And then lightning for safety. See, the problem is that... When you make the bosses so... Pattern-focused like that... It doesn't really make an interesting fight. It just means I have to play it one way, and any other way I'm going to be punished. Hmm. 
me to there. Hmm. Alright, is that the end of the demo? Yes or no? Let's see. Like, I can't see how you would get through that fight using the super heavy weapon. By the time I swing it, he probably will hit me with a three hit combo. I mean, yay, new suit. That's 98. Like, the only way, like, a heavy attack is viable is if it's paired with, like, a secondary mechanic. Like, the, um, block parry from Elden Ring, or the, uh, hardening power from, um, what was it, Mortal Shell. If it's just a heavy attack by itself, it's just too slow to really respond. Alright. But I think I'm about ready to move on. I am going to be, like, again, this is a demo, so they can certainly improve things between now and the release. But I'm going to be very curious about what the churn rate is going to be at that boss. Because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like a lot of people are just going to say no and leave the game there. So us masochists will stay with it, right? Like, if you remember when we played Nine Souls the other night, I like that your whole parry counter system is also reverberating into the boss fights. Here, you're giving me a mechanic with the whole blocking and such. But it does, or uh, stun locking, or stun breaking, and it's not applying here to the boss fights. I'm starting to notice a pattern. Ugh. Okay, my ultimate was not that ultimately. <laughs> Alright. Mm. This one is going to need some work, I think. Like, um, I think, was it Thousand Moon who said it? Yeah. Like, it's not, it's competent. But that's about it. Like, it's not going above and beyond in any real way. Let's see. Annoying issues. I remember to the jump. Hmm. Well, isn't that the uh, million dollar question there? <laughs> All right. And we looked at this one. Oh, that's another itching. I was wondering, like, why I didn't play this one yet. Uh, there's a game that was posted on our Discord. Glyph, glyph. Oh, that's right, Glyph. The uh, 3D uh, platform. I got, finally got a press key for that one. I may play that one as like part of like the regular stream, since we played a lot of it, or we played through the full demo. At one point. Let's see, that one... 
Oh yeah, the fighting game from the developer who sent it to me. So I won't give that one. Eh. Well, he did get in touch with me. Maybe I'll play that one for a minute. As we all know, I'm really good at fighting games. <laughs> yeah, that one. I have to remember to grab a key for a glyph when I get a chance. All right, so this is one that was submitted by the developer two nights ago. He watched the uh, Sunday show, or the Saturday show, and wanted to get my thoughts on this. Here's hoping I'll break the game on stream. A little too loud in my ears. This one is really like going crazy with my analog stick. Oh. There we go. So I have not played this at all yet. Let's go straight to very hard, right? I can do it. Is that the building from Deep Space Nine? <laughs> I hope there's an in-game tutorial, because I have no idea how we play this game. Wish it wasn't so dark. <laughs> Let's see the guy. This is a fighter, so I'm not sure what. Where are you? How this is relating to our gameplay? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, glowy. Can't tell that thing is really little, he just has big hands. <laughs> oh, there we go, we have life. Those swords look really flat. Oh. This was almost too easy. But how much does it cost to get that legendary gem? So you finally decided to fight your own battle. Ryzen? Isn't that my uh, processor? <laughs> exerting my strength on a thief like you. Do you know what this is capable of? Do you have any idea what... Of course I do. That's precisely why you won't leave here alive. You asked me... If <laughs> I was thinking that. My own battles. I promise I can do much worse. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, that was unexpected. I have swords, why am I not using them? Get oh. ready. Fight. I don't know the controls. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Here we go, this is gonna be my Evo, uh, appearance. I'm playing Tekken, right? Alright, so that's block. Get ready. Fight! You can't win. Alright, I taunted. Alright, so tech lets me like warp to the guy. I don't know what he's doing there. Oh no! Now it's turning to Dragon Ball uh, Fighter Z. Oh. See, this is why, boys and girls, you always want to do the tutorial. Oh, you can jump and shoot. That's neat. <laughs> oh, I did a thing. <laughs> well, you certainly don't disappoint. He's dodging. Oh, he's wrecking his own space station, isn't he? Uh oh. Oh. Well. Say goodbye to the monkey. I feel like he could have done that without destroying his whole base. He's Goro meets uh, Shao Kahn. Wait, don't we still have that MacGuffin? I kind of like the cell shading on the character. So our cane is taken care of? No thanks to the ape. My resources wasted on that. Exactly, Pony. Protecting the amulet with your little science project? Rookie mistake. We'll arrive on Earth shortly. First, <laughs> to disassemble the ape. Not the ape. Then, to retrieve my amulet. Are we understood, General? <laughs> I don't think the ape is escaping. The fact that I beat the fight is a miracle in of itself. Oh, wait, how did I survive? Also, second question, will I ever use the swords? Or are they just decorative? Oh. My feet seem like they're, like, going through the ground there. <laughs> Should we start a dream game for the amount of slowdown? fight you and I'm not afraid to protect my home I feel like we I'll missed a cutscene or two fine we'll do this your way 
Don't put the sword. <laughs> he put the swords away. <laughs> Fight. There we go. How do I grab? Oh. That's some rock and music, isn't it? How did I just do a grab cancel? Okay, here goes. Oh my god. I mean, I'm horrible at this game, but I'm not, I don't, I'm not hating it. Again, it does have like that goofy fun to it. <laughs> oh, we're going. We can't wait for me. I like the juggling. Wait, do I have my gun? Surely this is Evo play. Which one? Wait, how did I get my gun back? Aha! Oh. I, I actually blocked an attack! Go me! I don't know if this is solo dev... ...but I think it's a small... Team, nonetheless. Aww. I, I promised Kitsune it would, it would protect our home. Again, did I miss a cutscene? I don't mean any harm. I, I don't even remember. Oh, I got here. we have amnesia. I was trying to protect the amulet, and I. What? What did you just say? The amulet. You... you know where it is? If you're really here to protect the amulet, you need to come with me. Oh, you know where here is. Oh. I did one better for you. What the I found big you set of bananas. You were designed to be the ultimate weapon, but now, I suppose rebuilding you is our only choice. Oh no. Made this really is Ape Escape. <laughs> You're angry. This is exactly why you lose in battle. You're emotional. Fight me. After all that I've done for you. <laughs> so be it. Go, monkey, go. Get ready. Oh, guys, super slow. Oh, I don't know what I just did there. Hey, he has force powers. What the hell did I just do? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Aha! Oh, 
god, that's a super slow jump. Jeez. Get ready. Hey, uh, Chow. Man, this is again why you really need to do tutorials. <laughs> Wait, what hell is Webb again knocked away? He still has it. I'll beat this entire game without reading the tutorial, alright? <laughs> Button mashing. Hey, stop that. There's your Evo level <laughs> play right here. Get ready. Maybe. Say goodbye. Uh oh. <laughs> I apparently have an attack that can hit low, but I have no idea how to do it. Go monkey! Uh oh. Not good. What? <laughs> Man, if I could figure out how to throw, I'd be dangerous. Uh oh. No monkey, no! Oh no! I don't know how. Down in B, attack high. <laughs> Wait, was I supposed to lose? Oh, no, I wasn't. Hmm. Right, come on. Get ready. Fight. Ha, ooh, ha. Oh. I'll kill you. Stop that. Hmm. Yeah, that was it. What the? Kneel before. Uh oh. I threw those. Oh, you were right. We do get bananas. <laughs> Throw. Right chop. KO. Alright. Get ready. Where's my uppercut? Alright, so that counters blocks. I'll kill you. Banana. You may have force powers, but I have potassium on my side. Oh, oh dear. Ow. Stop that. Alright, so that builds up meter. Alright. 
Super Monkey. Uh oh. It does have multiplayer. Oh. Oh dear. It don't it does have personality, that's for sure. Oh. Ow. Hey. It should be there. Banana, go! Woo. No! Uh oh, I think that did it. Oh. Oh, we could do remote play. Alright. In the interest of... At least be able to show something off. Let's see what the tutorial is. Drew. Round one. Fight. Oh. Let's see how the tutorial is. Alright. Oh. E This monkey's getting some uh, punishment here. Oh, so that's how you throw. <laughs> well, the tutorial explains a mechanic. Well, that could have been really handy on that last fight. <laughs> I'm in the corner. Hmm. There we go. Oh! You can't win. Hey, we can use your weapon. We can use weapons in this. It's nice. <laughs> Alright, so everyone has the uh, range. Okay, so it's kind of Smash Brothers. That's good. <laughs> wow, it's incredible when you learn how the tutorial works. Hit me. Come on. Transform. You can't win. <laughs> Don't hold back. All right. I'll show you all my strength. Oh. What the? Wait, I can turn into a gargoyle this whole or a dragon this whole time? <laughs> okay then. We did it. We beat the tutorial. I got an achievement. Alright, so here are the characters, I think. Let's see. Alright. So, Monkey transforms into Super Monkey. 
Luigi transforms into Werewolf. He turns into... Dragon. I'm sure we unlock uh, the Shao Kahn guy. I mean, it's janky, but it's a uh, janky with a with a heart to it. <laughs> yeah, you unlock the skins through the uh, story mode as well. Four, five, six. So it's eight chapters long. Oh, jeez. What's our time? It's about 11.30. I do want to go to some more other games. We'll do this your way. Oh, it only does it at the, uh... Get ready. It only checkpoints at the start of a chapter. I'm having some issues getting the throw to work. Okay, here goes. Oh. Ow. Don't hold back. I wish I could rebind like the throw, make it like another button combo. My sword. Hey. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Keep the juggle alive. the uh, throw working, I'll be good. Wait, so what's the weapon the monkey gets? <laughs> There's an important question for the night. So be it. Get ready. Oh, here we go again. Oh. I get a hammer. Hey. Ooh. Hey, I'm, I was taunting. Ooh. Hmm. 
get ready. Fight me before. Miss me. Super monkey. What the? What happened? Oh, I've transformed into a robo uh, <laughs> cop. Oh no, I lost my power. <laughs> KO. If I get my throw working, I could actually fight. So you build meter by blocking. Oh no. Hey. <laughs> Everyone's hopping. Come on, we can do this. Uh oh. No. Say goodbye. Oh, so when they do like a special like that. Apparently, oh, with a counter at the end, they have I've they can't be hurt while they're doing a move like that. Whew. Mash super for the win. <laughs> You're free, monkey. You're free. If you run away now, you won't survive. You understand that. Don't you? Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that monkey represents the will of the people, doesn't he? Annie, do you copy? I've got eyes on him. Forget the ape. <laughs> We're moving on to phase two. No more NFTs. <laughs> so this thing will keep the amulet safe? More than safe. It would be sealed where nobody could ever touch it. Why was she wearing a cyber suit in the really desert? Not remember how you made it back to Earth? Oh. I, I can't remember. The same energy that's inside of you. I can feel it too. Ever since Katsune. It's fine. <laughs> Forget I asked. All right, but well, we do have to move on to our next game. Word got around the village that an amulet fell from the sky. It was given to their guardian. This was around the same time you arrived. So all I have to do is bring it back here. It's not that simple. The winged lion isn't just any guardian. Mm -hmm. Whatever comes from the sky is <laughs> entrusted to him. So 
We need a cyber primate to be in more games, right? There's some neon bracelets. If I can just get the grab to work, I think the problem is that it's reading the dead zone on my analog stick. I would rather the grab be maybe like a button combo, like maybe A X Y B. I should check to see if there's a button mapping. <laughs> now what do I fight? What do you think Ryzen turns into as his ultimate? <laughs> oh, I'm sure that comes at some point. Wait. Oh. oh no. Oh no, holographic Egypt is going out. Sorry, but we do have to get going. I don't know, I play as her. Get ready. What does she turn into? <laughs> Still breathing. Is that a baseball bat? Oh, we need some 90s, uh... Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, she countered. Okay. Oh, there's a command list. Oh, not really much of a command list there. Yeah, I don't think I can rebind the keys, which is a bit of a problem. This one may be the uh, hidden gem of the night. Came out a little over a month ago. Hmm. Extension. Yeah, I think that's the problem. It's a game that has no brand awareness. And it feels like a lot it feels like the fighting genre in particular is really one of the more like brand focused ones out there. Like the Avenger genre, it's such like a band of brothers and sisters that, you know, everyone promotes everybody's adventure game. But we really don't see that with fighting games. Yeah. But it's local is not the bare minimum anymore for a fighter. Huh, maybe, uh, he did give me a key, uh, he gave Josh a key as well, the other Josh. <laughs> maybe we can do it as a multiplayer night. Yeah, that's true as well, Tharsman, especially with the FGC, like, you're not going to spend time learning a fighting game that no one's playing, or it's, you know, a niche one. <laughs> that is true. Uh, Saturday show, Josh. Ooh. You want to hear something very depressing about, uh, Kokoro? Oh, there's, what the, there's a moth flying around me. <laughs> That's not what I was talking about. But as I was saying, the depressing thing is that only 17% of the people who play this game did the tutorial.
an 8.6 beat the story. Oh, apparently you can play the... Oh, no, it's arcade mode. I'm sorry. 47% beat the story, and then 13% beat the arcade. Apparently there's a knight. Looks like there's a dinosaur. And there's a character apparently named Christine, who I don't know who that is. Mm hmm. All right. I will tell the developer that we played it. I'll send this when it goes up on the channel. All right. So there's that. Hmm. I have Okinawa Rush, too. And uh, Mago as well. There's the key for Glenn. Uh, I have another kind of life sim slice of life game that there's a demo for. Huh. We also have Enlanders, which is a demo. As well, let me see. You know what, let's try Enlanders, Al. This is the prologue for the full game. This looks like Hyper Light Drifter Deck Builder. That's a mouthful right there. <laughs> Will Kokoro be the uh, <laughs> game of the night? Uh oh, I can see when I have to adjust that. Oh, that's not going to work. I put in a key request for it. We did play the demo. I enjoy the demo. One second, I am going to have to share my screen again. There we go. So let's see what this one is. Okay. A weird mechanic. Hmm. What's this? Hello. What are you doing? Hey! Oh, it looks like we're going Mega Man uh, battle here. Okay. Points, oh, okay. Well, oh, they're flashing. Wait. That tells me nothing. Why am I using the triggers? Like, right away, this is 
very unintuitive. Like, why don't I just make this A, X, Y, B? Wait. Ooh. So he just gets free attacks if I can't create an arena? Hmm. No real impact on the attack, which is not good as well. See, here's a problem from a UX perspective. When it's laid out like L1, R1, and like that, it doesn't look as intuitive to me. Are you an enemy? Hmm? I can't interact with that? Uh, thing? Yep, exactly. I mean, that's just basic uh, UX right there. This makes me uh, wonder. Or have it as four, you know, one, two, three, four, like that. Uh, they're doing the Diablo thing where they start the attack near me, but if I run away, it hurts me. And the enemies respawn? Oh no. Oh, good, we're 5% of the way. Um, and this UI just feels like it's all over the place. And it should really be inventory on the left, you know, deck on the right, that's just more intuitive. It said at the start, gamepad heavily required. Why, I don't know. Alright. And the lack of a cyber primate does not help. Let's see, someone found the key super confusing. No key binary mapping. 
Let's try Frozenheim. It's described as a city builder. Exactly, Pony. And no cyber primate. But the store page is reporting that it's not really a city builder. We need to tell the developer. Uh -uh. Sure, why not? But I need to... I have to get to an options screen so we can get this screen. Oh, yeah, we don't want that. Let's sort this down to 60. <laughs> there we go. Alright, that should be better. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see we need V-Sync on. Uh-oh. One second. For the fun part, I need to... Why are you not clicking? Alright, once I'm gonna have to leave and come back. Oh, this is going to be fun. I mean, when they make the uh, UI annoying like that. Okay, there we go. I think that should be fixed. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? That's some fog of war right there. Go faster. Let me get bonuses. Rise of Nations this is definitely not. Yeah, for sure. Click near on. Really speed up. Go. Charge, men, charge. I do not like having these abilities right here. Get him. So where is the city building? And where are the cyber monkeys? Okay. Duh. Did you say duh? Until it's happening here. Oak 
said a super fast speed. Vikings are generic now? <laughs> yep. So where's the city building? Wait a minute, this isn't city building, it's just an RTS. And this game lied to me. What? It's just like a, an RTS with extra steps. <laughs> hmm. We have little people moving. Pushing the cart. <laughs> Let me guess, I gotta place this thing down. Does anyone see... Okay, there's my available workers. Additional houses... Hmm... Boom. I am holding shift, it's not working. Wait, there's no way to just have it do multiple ones? It's only for snapping? Well, there's my five. Oh, so is this guy's not perfectly on? We need a new Settlers game now that I think about it. Oh good. Is this what they assume is the city building? Just upgrading buildings? Oh, it has different stats. We made the house bigger. <laughs> also, is it me or is this UI like really small?
Mm-hmm. Like, that was the nice thing about... Rise of Nations, that while it had, like, the city building and, you know, that kind of structure to it, like a turn-based strategy, it was very intuitive. Hmm. And there's no way to see what my actual resource gain is. Is this the, uh... No, it's a scout. They're not okay. There we go. This is definitely no a company of heroes. Hmm. A lot of things to click on. Like, if you're going to do city building, either it needs to be, like, really involved, or it has to be, like, very simple to do. Like, it has to be either the focus, or something you can just kind of fire and forget. I really hate that it's not showing me resource drain versus resource earn. It's actually working? Alright. I can see why this game has a mixed reviews right now. Serene Norse colony sim with real time combat. That doesn't seem like a sim or a city builder to me. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Well, they could have sent a lot of keys to people. It won the 2021 Pixel Awards Your Warsaw Excellence Award. And this is why you have to be very aware of genre definitions and qualifiers. If you call your game a city builder, you have to meet those standards. And I'm really seeing a lot on the uh, store page there. Uh, let's try this one. This was just sent to me today. It's described as a cute platformer. And we were talking about Josh, and the person who sent this key to me is named Josh. Half the people in the game in this year are named Josh, and the other half are, I think, Dave or Brian. <laughs> mm hmm. All right, let's try this one. This one also has two reviews, just like Kokoro. Oh, it, there's a reason why I called the Josh Apocalypse. Oh, we'll try Combinera as well. Oh. Alright. 
Let's go when the game starts with a jump scare, right? Alright, this is Super Ember Kaboom. Jeez. The world's been throwing a chaos already. Bum, bum, bum. Is it Josh? <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Wait, can you use a gamepad? Okay, you can. I feel like the music is not matching what I'm seeing here. So that's how you attack. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now what? Oh no. Not the Ember. Oh. Oh. And I have another power. The only that the camera is not really panning way up. Seems to be a little too slow for the speed that they want me to play at. Oh. Oh. Stop. What do the fruit is used for? Wait, wait can I wall jump? Oh, yes you can. There's no score though. <laughs> Maybe it's for lives, getting a hundred and you get an extra life. Dive. Can I feel like the music is just not matching? Oh. Nothing on the easier side so far. Ooh. Oh jeez. Oh, we have a boss. I'm not a pal, I'm a fox. Wait. You know he's a king when he has a crown on his head. <laughs> Fireball. Yeah. This is a turn to Dark Souls. Wait, I can't hit him with my normal attack. Dead? That nice uh, victory theme. Of 
course he is. How many keys do we need? Oh, good. Six McGulfins. Oh no, I don't like what I just saw on the map. So you need the gems as your MacGuffin. Also, why is a rubber ducky trying to kill me? Oh. Oh. I mean, the levels are quick. Wrong button. Hmm. Oh. oh, I just noticed something from a UX point of view. There is no tutorial about wall jumping. And it probably should have been included somewhere. I wonder if there's a reward for collecting all the, uh, fruit McGuffin. I just wanna see what this is. Like, why is there a character, like, on the map? Uh-oh. Oh, it's a mirror. That's definitely like a Super Meat Boy style. Yeah, so the fruit are giving me extra lives. Alright. I mean, it's not bad, but again, it's not really doing anything we haven't already seen before. Oh, this is all bouncy, I see. Yeah. Oh. That's nice, you can actually see the lighting when you break the uh, platform like that. I mean, if you're going to make it so easy to get lives, why even have a live system to begin with? Oh, I hit that guy. That thing's immortal. Oh no. Alright. Unless you guys want to see more, I think we can move on. So the gems are gates. I mean, it's not bad for what it is, but again, it's not like, oh my goodness, I haven't seen this before kind of quality. But it's kind of getting harder and harder to say that, I think.
All right, we'll get Enlanders. All right, we'll save. Uh, maybe not. We'll see how long it takes. But I still have Recursive Ruin to play. That's the kind of adventure, kind of like adventure-ish, um, what was the name of that game? Manful Garden kind of design. Hmm. Oh, and we have Potion Permit, too. Alright, let's take a look at Potion Permit. If we have time for that, we'll take a look at Combinera. And that may take us to the end, depending on how long these demos are. So this is, like, Stardew Valley-esque, this one. I don't know, I think Kokoro may be the surprise gem of the night. Oh, the dog has goggles. <laughs> so this is the demo... ...for the game. Man, you gotta have a cape color. Oh, and I lost chat. Now it says you go out and you collect potions and such, so maybe there's more of a sim aspect. Wait a minute. This is exactly how that Little Witch in the Woods game started, with us being on a train. I like the detail of the uh, background stuff. Why do I feel like this introduction is going to be like 40 minutes long? Hmm. Jeez, so many warnings about names. <laughs> Alright, can we get to gameplay in five minutes? We may need to start implementing a rule that if your game doesn't start within five minutes of loading it up, in terms of gameplay, we start deducting points. <laughs> Everyone is bobbing up and down. Not even looking at us. We're gonna make everyone sick in this town. What is this, a slice of life meets house? <laughs> Alright, come on. <laughs> I love the dog's walk animation though. They're all bobbing in unison and it's starting to freak me out. <laughs> then a monster attacks us and we enter Dark Souls. Fire the mayor. Alright, you know what? We're gonna use the power of skipping. That's great, we skip a cutscene into a cutscene. I just wanna make some potions. Alright, come on. Oh. Objects, okay. Good. Oh. Nice, we have a dodge roll. Hmm.
Oh. Oh, good. That's a great sofa right there. Oh, I want to mix some potions. Gotta find the cure to what ails you. Alright, come on. Another adorable looking map. Alright. Also, we have a bunch of resources. Oh, we can command the dog. Let's go. I don't know, like. I'm like kind of 50-50 on whether I like if the aesthetic is detail or not, or it just looks like a little plain to me. Now we get attacked in the woods. Isn't it like 50-50 for every kind of RPG style game? Oh no. Alright, so Scythe, Hammer, Axe. I'm what? Oh wait, we actually have combat! You know, I would really like it. If it would just oh, auto select, like why do I need? Oh wait, <laughs> there's a dog <laughs> transform to Cyber Primate. Ah, as I was saying, like. There's no need for me to swap between different tools. Because each tool is a one-off, so it should just be a context-sensitive. You know, if you're near a tree, use the axe. If you're near something that requires a scythe, use a scythe. I think that's another thing we're going to need to start at digging developers on. All right, let's feed the dog a mushroom. <laughs> wow, this got dark fast, didn't it? It does right now. Yeah, die. Do we feed the dog some sap? Alright, there's Daisy. I mean, I do like having like more of a combat focus. But it's not really you know, intense combat. Die. Can we send the doll to fight for us? Uh oh. And so this is our gating. Better tools, lets you do higher quality resources, better resources, and get you better stuff, and you get the picture. Oh, we got 
got spores. Alright, can we make some potions, though, is the question. Oh. Come on, dog. Fight my enemies for me. We need a new Soul Blazer. What the hell? Whoa! It's turned to the long dark. <laughs> Maybe for tomorrow night we'll do a mix of Glyph and Lobotomy Corp. So I did enjoy that one. So slowly. Come on. All right. Well, I want to make at least one potion before we move on. I don't know why there's a thumbs down in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Good, we can actually make a potion now. Yay. Alright, how does this work? Okay. Oh no. more puzzle crafting rather than potion crafting. Wound Hunter? Go. When are we going to get our um, Plague Doctor Sim game? Oh, we got to run. You know it's bad when we move slower when we roll. <laughs> there you go. Now what? Hmm? Is that it? Do we not gain more quests? Aww. Hm. When a dog's meter fully <laughs> builds up, he'll transform, right? Is this our house? There it is. We at least sit on our own couch. Oh, that's good.
Boom. Hmm. Okay. And this isn't. Oh. Every building looks very run down, doesn't it? Little Sarah. She's now turned to Trauma Center. What? Why am I doing a rhythm game? <laughs> well, I'm trying to help. Oh dear. DDR Doctor. I think we're saying so much here. Is there's an alarm going on? All right, and I do what now? So then, if you don't have the ingredients, wait, I can't rotate. Oh no. That sucks. Damn you, Tetris. Then you have to go out and grind. Oh, dear. Alright. Hmm. Charming, but... I don't know if it was what I expected. Let's see, it comes out on the uh, 22nd of September. Open-ended sim, they're describing it as. Hmm. Could be one to play. I mean, it's a kind of like a relaxing kind of game. Alright. Alright, it's about 12.40, so I think we have time for one more game. So this is one that was sent to me by a developer the other day. I looked at their store page, and as a store page review, it's actually a really good one. I don't know if we're going to actually do it for one of the shows. <laughs> so this is Action Puzzle, where everything moves along with you, kind of design. Bright colors right there. Ooh. That's good. Start the game with like a little seizure inducing a <laughs> brightness there. I'm sure there's some deep lore right there, right? Oh good, long... Okay, game, wh what are you doing? Let's see the video game. Oh. Oh. 
I saw him a MacGuffin, you can't fool me. Hmm. Other than that, this creates a shield. Oh god, I got an achievement for that. What if I do this? There we go. Hmm? Oh. Hmm. Right, so then we normalize. Ooh. The bright light is, I think, a very, uh, weird uh, thing to have. Why does my jump sometimes very weird? <laughs> In pain. They don't know me very well, do they? style to it? But again, why should we play this one over all the other puzzle games? This is just murder on your eyes, isn't it? So I kind of wish there was a checkpoint here. Hmm. Let's, see, let's do the job. Ooh. Yeah, it's only the color. I think we have to... Hmm. Hmm? If I drop down there, I can't... Okay, so we have to go like this. Oh, okay, I see. 
And then this resets that. Oh, come on. I can do that, but I still need to get this guy up there. Come on, really? Ugh. Mm. Mm. I'm having an issue with my jumping that it doesn't seem to want to do the thing when I want it to. You know what? Let's just get that done. Oh dear. Oh, that's death. I missed the primate too. screwed. If I drop down, I'm screwed. Hmm. Hmm. If that is the yeah, exactly. Ooh, that is incredibly tight for a game like this. That couldn't be what they want, right? Coyote jumping? Hmm. I think I see what they want me to do. to see, but I see. Oh, jeez. Wait, how is that so close? Oh. Is 
the idea is we like normalize it like that. Uh, I think I see. I keep saying that. <laughs> So what happens is you have to bounce it, and the one, the third from the left, just goes off on its own. Like that. And then you do this, and then you combine all that. Oh wait, we have a cutscene. That was the first chapter. Oh! This is exactly what I look at at 8 minutes to midnight. Or 8 minutes to 1 in the morning. And you do realize you're gonna combine all the effects. So they don't swear on these streams. How many levels are there in this game? They keep adding more to the chapters. Oh my. It keeps getting larger. <laughs> What is the secret level like? Oh good, I've been wanting to play more Spelunky. <laughs> or La Mulana. Oh dear. We didn't realize, but Cyber Prime was the hero we needed all along. Okay. Oh. Alright. I think enough of the eye strain here. Alright, well, I think we'll say goodnight here. 66% of those players actually beat the first chapter, which is actually higher than I thought it would. But, we will be back tomorrow night. Yeah, I'll get in touch with that developer, see what he thinks or about the game. But we'll come back tomorrow night, maybe do some Glyph and the Bomb Incorporation. So everyone, thank you for tuning in. I'll get this uh, put into a spotlight video and the archive up on the second channel. If you're new, do all the liking, subscribing, and commenting. Again, we'll be back around 9, 9.30 ET. And subscribe to the secondary channel for the stream archives and general plays. And the main channel for our design talks, interviews, and more. Come back for daily sessions on game design here and on game wisdom, where some of the art and science of games. Until next time, take care.